Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So today, um, I don't really film very often on the Focus, but I'm gonna be doing a shave on the grill. And I I'm gonna be doing spark plug as well, but I probably won't film that um, or show you guys that. Well, maybe just kind of dab into it a little bit, but you obviously probably know um, how to do that for the most part. So, but today we're gonna also be doing the grill and uh, I'll kind of show you um, what I'm talking about here. So I don't know if you can see in the video, but basically, um, this goes right through, but then right here is all plastic behind here and it runs all the way up here. Let me just uh, grab this light here. You can see it a little better. All right, there you go. So it's plastic all on the side there and all on the bottom here and all in the corners there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it off and we're gonna try to shave the bottom of it and make the whole thing like a true sort of mesh. Um, just put this back up here. And we're gonna make it, uh, so I got a few things I'm gonna try. I got a zip cut. I got uh, grinding discs, but I'm gonna try this flap disc here. And this might be too, a little bit too heavy grit, but we're gonna try and see how, if it maybe chews too much, I won't do that. But we have a few things here that we're gonna try. Um, got these as well, so. We'll take the zip cut, wherever it is here. Right here, so we'll grab this. I'll grab that after. I don't want to make too much noise, and then uh, we'll get the grill all shaved out. So just to start with, I'm gonna put the camera just on the mount here. Perfect. There we go. Okay. So these grills are like really easy to take out. I think on the pre, the 13s and the 14s. You actually have to take the whole bumper off to remove the grill. Um, but for, the, for these ones, all you do is you just pull it out. So just put your fingers in the bezel and put two thumbs on the hood, and then just you just basically pry, right? So that, that, you just move your way along. This is my first time doing it, but from everything I've read, it's pretty uh, self-explanatory. So you get to that point there, and then we'll go over this side. Gentle tugs, nothing too, too crazy. And then we'll try to work it out from here. Try to get most of the top up before I start doing the bottom. One thing I don't have, which I should invest in, is a, is a good pry tool. Um, that's something I don't really have, and it's good so you don't scratch the paint kind of pry against your body a little bit, but we'll make this work. See how we're looking down here, just to make sure to break any clips. So we'll start from this corner here. And then it's just like these little tabs that have hooks on it that there's little flaps underneath right here that just basically just hooks to a lip. There's no like actual brackets, it's all just kind of hooked to a lip, so. Um, same for the, the bottom side here. There, she comes. there, just like that. So, now you can kind of see, right, all this is gonna go, and we're gonna try to get a nice, basically we're gonna have to just grind this down until it's just sort of, flat on the back side so we'll see how nice we can get that and then while I'm at it I might uh, I might try to I'll look at pictures and see what other people did but I might take the zip cut I might just trim this whole um, I might just try to trim this whole white plastic piece too just so it's not showing through the grill and I'll probably do that. Just take the zip cut and uh, figure out what it, like the bumper for the bottom, it goes into these little slots. So you obviously don't want to cut that. So we'll probably just run the zip cut, make a tape line right across the top here. And then we'll run it just like that. So you can see the top, I guess they go into those little square grooves there too. So nothing, nothing's damaged pulling it out. Everything looks intact. All the, doesn't look like any of them broke. 
which is half the battle when you're getting these things out. So we'll get this on the bench here and I'll get my, my light set up and then we'll start, we'll start grinding away at it and see what she, uh, what she looks like. Okay. So I kind of started to uh, chip away at this already. And uh, so just to kind of show you, sorry. So this is what it'll look like um, once you start trimming off the back and we'll have to take a bit of sandpaper maybe to the back here and just to get rid of all of this stuff because the paint kind of melts or not the paint, the plastic kind of melts and it uh, flings little chips everywhere, which is kind of annoying. So this is kind of what it looks like so far on the back side. Um, not too bad. The idea is obviously to have everything perfectly smooth and level with the rest of the stock part. You might have the odd depreciation in here, um, depending if you're you know, going too hard, it's hard to see. Because of all the melted paint, it's sort of hard to get a gauge sometimes how deep you're going. But it shouldn't, even if you do end up going deep in a couple spots, you definitely won't notice it through the grill. Um, even once it's on, especially when it gets like darker in the back there, you definitely won't notice it. So don't worry too much about that, but you try to do your best not to. So this is to, this little part here took me about, I don't know, a couple minutes with this. I got this flapper disc set up here on my grinder. So it didn't take very long to do. So we'll keep going here and uh, I'll kind of film some of it so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. And uh, hopefully it's pretty clear indication so far, but um, we'll keep on going here and we'll see how far we can get. So I think it's good to get to a point where like eventually you're all the plastic will just start kind of bundling up. So just take a break, peel this, like you saw me kind of peel all this stuff off, um, peel it all off and then you can continue. Try to poke out as much as many as you can and you can worry about cleaning them up later. But uh, the quicker that you can remove the plastic, it's not going to bunch up as much and then you can kind of see what you're doing. So, um, so we'll keep going here and uh, see how she turns out. Okay, so we're looking pretty good so far. Um, nothing out of the ordinary yet. We're gonna have to clean up all these little, um, those basically get pushed through, but we'll have to maybe see if I can take a soft brush and clean all the backside up after and get rid of all those little burrs. But uh, so far, so good. Like it doesn't look, um, doesn't look completely janked under here. Like everything's staying, let's see if I can, everything's staying pretty much flush for the most part with the rest of the grill. Um, this flapper disc is doing a really good job. Like I said, you just have to stop every once in a while and just clean up all the accumulative uh, gunk. But basically, once you start seeing, like you can see, once you like start kind of heating it up and you see the outlines, you can just see that one coming in. Then you can almost just stop and you can just poke each one out. So you know you're not doing anything too excessive and then that way it limits you from you know gouging into the grill and, and making it look off if you, once you get it all back on, right? Because you, See, everything looks pretty good so far. So, I mean, I would say overall, other than just the mess, the overall mess, very easy job so far. Um, all you basically need is just the grinder, the attachment for it. I got a flathead screwdriver here, and then I got a vise just to kind of clamp the grill down so it's not sliding around on me as I'm, as I'm grinding. So, um, I'll get this all cleaned up, and then I will show you guys what it looks like once it's done uh, before I put it back on the car. Okay, so we just got the grill 
um, all finished up here. I chose to left the sides. Um, a lot of people go ahead and just mesh the whole thing, but I'm gonna leave it for now. I might, uh, I mean, like I said, it's easy enough to pull this girdle off and and uh, and then do the whole thing. But I'm gonna see how this looks for now. I don't wanna get over ambitious with it. I don't have like maybe one day if I get one of those uh, TB like fr those front braces, um, uh, those front braces. Maybe I'll take this all off. But uh, I don't plan on doing anything right now. Maybe I'll get one of those snorkels, um, those intake snorkels, but we'll see. I heard that some people say that they add power, some people don't, it's just more for looks. But So here's what the backside looks like. So I did stop. If you guys are gonna do just like what I did and do the sides, make sure you guys stop at the appropriate marks. I grinded a little bit into this just because I had to get these little corners out a little bit on, e on each side here, so. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, I mean, it was super, super easy to do. Um, it's super clean. And uh, the hardest part is just picking out all the little filings after. But yeah, nothing, no like crazy depreciate, like it worked out really well, so. So we'll get this pop back on, I guess. And then, uh, yeah, so what I did after was I took a metal brush to the back because this is all I really had, but I was very, very light with it. So I put this on my drill and then I just took it to the very back of it and I kind of just lightly brush it and press into it just to kind of deep. I mean, obviously something like if you can get one of these like in a plastic, a hard plastic would be better. Basically deburred it with this thing and uh, that seemed to get a lot of it off. I mean, it just, it is a mess. Like look at all this stuff that came off of it. And then at the end, when I had all the burrs off, I just took my shot back and I got this kind of uh, this is a like hard plastic bristles. I use this to kind of clean the carpets in the car um, But I went and I just did a nice hard scrub on the back side with this thing and that uh, seemed to have gotten all the burrs so I already went ahead and I took off I grinded off the The edge here with my zip cut. That's obviously Fairly easy to do so I should clean up the edges a little bit uh, But I don't think they'll even show anyways, but I can't find my file right now I was gonna take my file and just kind of push down on it but it's not too too bad I think I can live without it for now and uh, I think we'll go ahead and pop it back on but so we don't need that because it would have been just a bunch of white showing through the grill at least right now it's a bunch of black and uh, I think a lot of people go and get rid of the active shutters back here there's active shutters back here but because I live in really cold climates um, I'm gonna leave the active shutters just for winter driving. If I turn this into a true daily, I'll get rid of, I'll gut all this out, but we're gonna leave this for now. And I think if you get one of those snorkels, you might have to remove this and then maybe some more yet. I'm not too sure what's all involved in that, but uh, I imagine you probably have to start taking, your, it's gonna go through there somewhere, so you have to take this off and whatnot. So we'll leave it all on for now. And then we'll just put the, go ahead and put this grill back on. And then uh, we'll see how it looks. So obviously it being kind of dark right now, you can't see the full effects of it. Um, I'll try to get a picture of it in the daytime, kind of with the sun going right through it, but definitely can tell it definitely looks a lot better. And uh, now that I kind of see it in, I might just go ahead and do the full thing, but that'll be for another day. Um, I just wanted to kind of do more of a how to on how this is done, even though it is pretty straightforward. You pop the grill out, you shave it with the stuff I've kind of showed how to do, and then it just it's easier to even put it back in, right? You just line up your clips and push it back in. So I'll leave you guys with that. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the spark plugs. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.